Hello, hello. Welcome to Arcpoint. My name is Marcus, and today we're going to teach you how to script. We're going to get a player to teleport from the red floor to the yellow cube. Let's get started. So first off, these are default cubes. There's nothing special about them, no special properties on them at the moment. So we're just going to go to core content and type in trigger. We're going to drag and drop that in. And uh, don't worry if you can't see anything, press V to toggle on gizmo visibility. Now, what is a trigger? It is a core object that notifies a script when a entity such as a player has entered its collision volume. Yeah, it's pretty useful for many things. And in the bottom right corner, you can tick this interactable checkbox on. And then when that happens, if a player enters the volume, uh, they'll be given a prompt such as, do you want to teleport? And just quickly previewing this, if I enter, you'll be given the prompt, do you want to teleport? Press F. Yeah, pretty cool. So now we're going to create a script in the top left corner. Create script, open script generator. And now, instead of going to event binding pressed released, we're going to go to event trigger overlap. Uh, that'll give us the pre-generated code we desire. We're going to press create new script. We're going to go teleport. And voila. Now we can close this. And we're going to drag and drop this script underneath the trigger. So ensure that the trigger is the parent. And the script is the child. This is to ensure that the uh, code works as intended, because the pre-generated code requires that the trigger that it's referring to is the parent of the script. So now we're also going to go to the bottom of the properties tab and see this add custom property button. We're going to click it and select core object reference. Uh, this allows us. To, oh, hang on. We're going to name the property. And we're going to go target, make sure you note the spelling, add property. And uh, yeah, we're going to drag and drop this target cube into the empty object reference. Now, essentially the core asset reference, no, core object reference, there we go, allows us to reference objects in the hierarchy. So now we're going to copy and paste this code underneath here. Uh, that will allow us to access the object reference inside the script. And now we're just going to open the script up. I'm using Visual Studio Code. And then you'll see that there are three functions here. On begin overlap, that's when the player enters the collision volume. On end overlap, that's when the player leaves the collision volume. And on interacted, that's when the player presses the F button when prompted. Uh, we're just going to straight up delete on begin and on end. And then we're also going to just uh, delete it down here as well. So that we're left with just the on interacted. Now we're going to copy and no, we're not going to copy. We're going to paste the uh, code that we got from earlier. This allows us to use the um, target that we created in the custom properties in the script. We're just going to rename it target. And now we're going to create our own function. Function. Name it teleporting. Teleporting. Brackets. Player. And now we're going to go player. Set world position. Brackets. Uh, target. Get world position. Brackets. And now we're going to press, going to fill out an end. And now to call the function, we're going to get rid of this print statement. Go teleporting other. So essentially, what this does is local target is the variable that we use inside the script. It grabs the custom property named target and then it waits for that object. Once we have that object, it will proceed on interacted with the trigger. It finds the other thing and checks if it is a player. 
If it is, it's going to call this function that we just did, and it's going to plug in that other thing. That other thing we know is a player. So now we can have the player. We're going to set the world position, but where are we going to set it? We're going to set it at the target position that we have up here, and we're going to get that object's world position, and then that's going to be where we're going to teleport the player. So now that we have that, I hope I haven't forgotten anything, we're going to press Control S to save. Voila. Now in theory, this should work, so we're going to press play. We're going to go to the red floor, and we're going to teleport. Yep, I completely forgot to turn off camera collision for that box, but that's okay. And we can do this as many times as we want. Perfect. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Ah, it pains me just to say that. It's so generic. But we do have some cool stuff coming up. So if you want to get notified, do slap that bell. Just back and forth. It'll be fine. Yep. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!